while Hyde Park is the home to more eclectic and stylish fashion trends, which is why it's the perfect setting for this year's SA Fashion Awards. Out of the nominees and the winners tonight, who do you think is doing really great things? Well, they're all doing great. I mean, that's why they're winners and that's why they're nominated. Pavi Malloy, uh, all-rounder. She, I've met her many, many years ago in the industry. She hasn't changed. I think Bonang has a big chance of getting the ultimate prize. She has had an amazing year. She's such an amazing person and she's a style icon. Fashion designer extraordinaire is what I'm going to call you. David Clale, you're looking amazing tonight. Tell me about your outfit. Um, this is basically a David Clale spring summer collection. Uh, men in captains. We don't call it skirts or dresses. It's a men captain. Uh, the nails are monochrome, minks, and the hair has changed from red. I've got monochrome with the hair as well. So Khaj Jahan Kutsia is branching out. Okay, he does gorgeous dresses, which Louise Carver is wearing, and he did my hair tonight. And my belt. Look, and he made the belt. And the belt. You see, Khaj Jahan hair, Khaj Jahan couture, Khaj Jahan accessories. Let's check out which celebrities brought home the awards for the unmistakable panache and good style. I was eight when this award show started and I've been dreaming of getting an award like this ever since and finally it happened. Last year was my first invite to the Side Awards and I was like, wow, I'm invited to the Side Awards. So to actually win something this year, I'm over the moon. SA's Most Stylish definitely came out tonight to award the best of the best. From celebrities to models and actresses to media personalities, I'm Roxy Berger for Flash.